Hello, my name is Phil Van Bibber. I'm with Hot Woods Hog Control Products. We're down in West Texas trying to educate and eliminate the hog problem. We carry a full line of supplies to help out along with the knowledge to use them. Taking a piece of wood, I'm going to put my black bowl detracting on. This wood is really porous and kind of rotten. It'll really soak up the attractant. So this thing will draw hogs for a long time. I use it in the pin traps and I use it in the small portable traps. The black gold attractant is an excellent attractant and you can get that at Hot Woods also. We're setting up a small box trap that we use a lot of times for spot trapping hogs. Golf courses, up around people's houses. These traps are super portable. They pin together. I got a top on them. We found a place here where the hogs are coming through. It'll be a good setup right here after we bait the hogs, just like we did the pin traps. Basically the same thing. The trap will have a trip wire in the back with a one-way door on the front. We've got a good location. The hogs are coming up out of this bottom, feeding up here, up here into the field. We'll go ahead, set it up, and I'll show you how to pin it together, bait the trap, and we'll be set up and ready to go. These pins are quick, they're easy, and they're very portable. Let's get some stuff put out here, get the panels drug out, and we'll get them pinned together and get them set up. Dig a small hole in the back of our trap, six inches round, two feet deep. And we'll put our bait down this hole. It'll make the hogs work for the corn for an extended period of time. We've got the initial parts of our pin put together, the four outside panels, all pinned together on the outside with a regular L pin with a cotter key. We've done that top and bottom, all four corners. Our door is in the middle, in the front, pivots in the middle, and this door is a repeating hog trap door, kind of like our pin trap gates except this door will have a trigger, and once it's fired, other hogs will be able to work their way into the trap. We'll go ahead, bait our trap. And again, this is just corn I got from the local mill. Fill it up. Dump some corn back there by your rooter bar. Right on out the trap. I also picked this piece of wood up, which I'll put some black gold attractant on, and lay it in the back. The wood's porous, and it'll really hold the attractant. And soak it up good. The top of the pin, has pinholes all along the side, on both sides. Set it on, slide it into position. Take our L pins with the cotter keys, force through. Your pin can be anchored down with posts on either side of the trap. The trap doesn't have a floor in it, which the hogs do not like to walk on this wire when they come in, which makes our trap kind of different than everybody else's. The hogs will enter it easier, and your bigger hogs will enter it because they don't have to walk on the wiring. Got the top secured, the pins are all in, the cotter keys are in place. I've installed the rooter rope, which runs down across the back of the pin by our holes where the hogs will be rooted. It runs up through the side to the trip mechanism, which is here in the, towards the front. Open our door. That's all there is to it. 
These hogs will feed out here in front on this corn loosely, work their way in. As soon as they start pawing around in here, eating the corn in the front, they'll move to the back. As soon as they start rooting around, they'll hit this cable. It'll spring the door. Now, anything inside the pen cannot get out. Open your door. Pull your trip mechanism in. It'll hold your door open. Now you're ready for hogs to start feeding in through the front. The cable runs from the trip down the side across the back. That's your rooter rope. As soon as the hogs feed in, eat the corn along the side, they'll hit the rooter rope in the back and fire the trap. Now, nothing can get out of the trap. The hogs are locked in. Any additional hogs are still free to root through the door. We're using this trap because it's nice and portable to catch the smaller hogs. And when we're catching the smaller hogs, we don't feel it necessary to stake the trap down. But when you have lar larger hogs running around, you should always stake the trap down with T-post or a strap across the top, something just to hold the trap in place and keep them from picking the sides up. This is another one of the excellent products we make here at Hotwoods. These traps will last you a lifetime. They're easy to ship. They break down for storage. One person can move them around. And if you wanted to, you could pick it up with a front end loader and move it. If not, you could take it apart. It'll fit in the back of your truck between the fender wells. They're easy to move around as far as several of them in the back of your truck. You can take them to a golf course or you can take them out to the brush. This trap, two people can handle this thing very easily. It's not super heavy. They can move it around, load it into the truck just the way it sets. It's got all steel construction. Heavy hog paneling, heavy angle irons on the sides. It's got the smaller holes in the bottom to keep the smaller hogs in. Heavy door construction with a spring on the door to keep it shut. It's powder coated. This trap is an excellent product. Sold nationwide for hog control. It's easy for cities, small towns to use. They're affordable and last a lifetime.